Hello, my name is Karina and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a What's For Dinner collab with Taylor Elmore. Taylor is so sweet. On her channel, she has What's For Dinners, grocery hauls, and vlogs. She homeschools her two children. I will have her video and her channel linked below. If you are here from Taylor's channel, welcome. I am so glad you're here. I like to do grocery hauls, what's for dinner, and vlogs. I love to decorate. Cooking videos are always so much fun, especially crock pot. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you become a part of this YouTube family. Tonight for dinner is teriyaki chicken. The sauce is P.F. Chang's Teriyaki. I purchased that at Walmart. I added some green pepper and onions, some water chestnuts, and bean sprouts. And then I heated up some pineapple chunks and toasted up cashews. And we have this over rice. Tonight for dinner, we are having meatloaf. I like to flavor our meatloaf with the McCormick meatloaf seasoning. We have some corn, homemade mashed potatoes, and brown gravy. So in the bowl, we have the base of a chef's salad, and then we have all of the toppings. So anybody can just kind of choose what they want to add to their salad. We have croutons, eggs, ham, turkey, cheese and tomatoes so this one is timothy's and he has blue cheese dressing on his i have ranch dressing on mine and jason has russian tonight's dinner is chicken alfredo but i am starting off by baking the chicken the seasonings on the chicken are very simple salt pepper lorry seasoning salt onion powder and garlic powder I'm gonna put this in the oven on 350 for 40 minutes, turning them after 20 minutes. For the broth, I just added probably about 12 cups of water to the pan. And to that, I added this chicken flavor bouillon. I get this at Sam's Club. But for a special little something in our chicken noodle soup, I like to add this Weiler's chicken with herbs and spices. I add about two to three cubes to the water and it really does bump up the flavor of chicken noodle soup. I'm gonna let the chicken and the broth come to a simmer and then I'm going to add these Amish noodles to it. I usually make my chicken noodle soup with carrots and onion and celery, but this time I'm not going to. I'm just going to have chicken and noodles and broth and it is going to be delicious. Plus we can eat this during the week for lunches with sandwiches. Tonight we are having goulash. So I started out by scrambling up some burger. I added onion and green pepper to it. For seasonings, I add chili powder, salt, a little bit of lorry salt, and pepper. In a pan, I have some Alba macaroni cooking up and getting ready for me to add the burger to it. When I'm making goulash, I like to undercook my pasta by a minute or two because it's going to continue to cook in the sauce. Once I drain that, I add the burger, peppers, and onions to it, and then I pour in tomato juice. I have about three-fourths of the container in there, and then I add more seasonings, which is pretty much the same seasonings that I had for the burger. I add a lot more chili powder to this, and I also add salt and some more pepper. And then I'm just gonna let it simmer together until it gets a little thicker, and then it will be ready to eat. Tonight on the side of our goulash, we have some homemade bread, and then I always set out Parmesan cheese, and whoever wants it gets to sprinkle some on top of their goulash. 
Tonight I am getting help from Hamburger Helper. We have not had one of these in a very long time and we really like the cheeseburger macaroni meal. We will be having salad on the side to round out this dinner. Thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure that you go on over to Taylor's channel and watch her video and hit that subscribe button. You won't be sorry, you will love it. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. May you always find your way to higher ground